A natural hair wash day is a sport, okay? And I'm trying to gear myself up. Wash day, wash day, wash day. Hello, YouTube fam. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Alyssa Marie, and I am so glad that you're here. While you're here, you might as well just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I promise you will not be disappointed. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell just in case you want to be notified every single time a new video drops. Today, I'm so excited to be working with Verb Hair Care, who has so kindly sponsored this video. I'm digging into Verb Hair Care's new curl collection, which is specifically curated for curly hair, which is awesome. I'm gonna go through and do my entire wash day routine using this entire collection, and we are gonna put it to the test. I want bouncy curls, shiny curls, moisturized curls, I do not want any frizz, and I do not want my curls to be weighed down. So I have a set number of things that I look for in each product. We are really gonna put this to the test today. So let's head on to my shower so we can get started. All right, welcome to my shower, guys. It is wash day, we're gonna jump into these Verb products. I'm super excited. So before we actually go ahead and start using them, I just wanna have like a quick chat about this new curl collection. So this curl collection, it comes with four products. It comes with a shampoo, a conditioner, a leave-in conditioner, and a curl cream. I'm actually really excited, mostly I think for the curl cream. I love products that can define your curls without it actually being gel, because I find that curl creams just give that a little bit of extra added moisture and that little bit of extra added shine that could really make all the difference in your wash day. Just off the bat, I wish that they did do a conditioning cleanser instead of a shampoo. Y'all already know how I feel about shampoo. But yeah, I think today I'm actually gonna try out the shampoo. I really, really wanna put this curl collection to the test. And I feel like I wouldn't really be putting it to the full test if I didn't use every single product. So I am gonna go ahead and use a shampoo today. The main reason why I'm like, okay, fine, I will try it is because it doesn't have sulfates in it, no parabens. I'm looking at the bottle here and it also says that it's mild and it's just meant to cleanse and smooth your hair. It's also good for color safe curls, which is good because my hair, as you guys know, has been colored. So for reference, my hair is 3C slash 4A. Like I find my hair very 3C when it's wet, as well as on day one, day two, and then throughout the week as my hair gets drier, I feel like it gets more towards that 4A type category. My hair is a chameleon, but if you have curly hair, you can relate. In terms of price, I would say this collection is pretty reasonably priced. I would call it mid-range pricing. So each product retails online for $16 each. All right, so now that we got all of that out of the way, I think we are gonna jump straight in for this wash day. I'm like nervous and excited y'all. Nervous for the shampoo, excited for everything else. So I am working with some really dehydrated hair. I usually try to wash my hair like every four days or so just to give it some more moisture, but I just didn't have time this week. So my curls are looking super, super dehydrated and just like out of place, not happy curls at all. So needless to say, my hair is like really, really in need of wash day, like desperate need. So I'm just waiting for this water to warm up. But I wanted to clear something. Like like I said earlier, this is sponsored, but I'm always gonna tell y'all the truth, I promise. I made a vow to myself and to you guys from the beginning that I refuse to do any sponsorships that request me to lie about their products. If I don't like something, I'm gonna tell y'all. If I do like something, I'm gonna tell y'all, no matter what. So even though this is sponsored, this is the truth. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and apply the shampoo. Ooh, just off the bat, I really like the smell. It's like a, it's a more fresh type smell. It's not fruity or anything, which I kind of like, because sometimes those fruity, hair products can kind of get like really overwhelming, especially when you're pairing it with other fruity products, you know? I'm kind of just focusing the shampoo on my scalp mainly. It is very thick. It's very thick feeling and very moisturizing. Like it doesn't feel, I don't know, like how I expected it to feel. It feels creamy. It's a very creamy kind of shampoo.
All right, so now I'm gonna go in with the conditioner. I'm gonna section my hair out to apply this and kind of comb it through my curls to make sure that every knot is taken care of. So here's how the conditioner looks right now. In terms of consistency, I'm actually really liking the consistency because it's not like an overly heavy conditioner, which I hate, but it's also not like a super like lightweight conditioner as well. I feel like it's a very good balance in between the two. So I'm really liking it. I'm also getting a pretty good amount of slip. See there? It's clearing out my curls, which feels really nice. Again, love the smell. It seems like all the products have the same kind of fresh, just clean kind of smell. Not overly fruity or anything like that. So here's a little close up. So this really is actually kind of like the first step to defining my curls right here because my curls already just look happy and defined. So I looked at the bottle and it actually does say it's meant to soften, define, and hydrate your curls. And I feel like it really is doing that. All right, so let's do a really quick frizz test because I feel like you can always tell like on wash day, starting from conditioner, you can always tell like if your hair is frizzy from inside the shower from conditioner, you're not setting up to have a good wash day. So right now I'm not really seeing too much frizz, which is a good sign. So I honestly have no complaints so far. All right, so I just pinned my hair up. I'm gonna leave this in for about five to 10 minutes and then wash it out and style. Surprise! All right, time to wash this conditioner out and get into some styling. I'm really excited for this part. All right, so I didn't fully wash out all the conditioner. I left a little bit in so that my hair can maintain a little bit of moisture. As usual, y'all know that's how I do. And so first, I'm gonna go up with the leave-in conditioner to style. It says it's meant to detangle, protect, and restore your curls. So let's jump into it. Before I apply that leave-in conditioner, I think I'm gonna go ahead and section my hair out just into two sections. I'm really trying to go for some definition today. I want this to last throughout the week. So I'm gonna style in two separate halves. Okay, so off the bat, this leave-in conditioner kind of has a very milky texture. It's very lightweight, it seems. Oh, this is slightly sweeter than the shampoo and conditioner. I like it though. It's very nice. It's still very a very subtle smell, but again, just fresh. Oh, I love it. All right, and then after the leave-in conditioner has been evenly distributed, I'm gonna go in with the curl cream. This is meant to shape, define, defrizz, and repair curls. This one is a little thicker than the leave-in conditioner. I kind of expected that because you're gonna need a little bit more body for the product to be able to grab onto your curls and define them. All right, so here are how the curls are looking. They're pretty defined and I'm actually not mad at how the products are working in my hair. All right, I am not mad at this. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same styling steps for the top half of my hair. All right, I feel like I'm getting a good amount of curl definition. It's definitely not as grabbing as a gel would be, um, but I do feel like it's defined my curls a little bit. I'm just interested to see how my curls are when they dry. So now I'm just gonna grab my diffuser to dry my curls just a little bit. Like I never usually diffuse 100% dry, but I'll diffuse it enough to where like it's not dripping anymore. All right, so that's as much as I will diffuse. Like I said, no more dripping, but definitely not dry yet. So I'm just gonna wait, let it air dry a little bit, put on some makeup, meet all in the studio, and then we can discuss my final thoughts and the final results. Boom, here is the final results, guys. Honestly, I am so, so thrilled by this collection. Y'all know how good it feels when a wash day comes out 
bomb! Okay, so what I got from this collection was some super, super insane definition. My curls feel soft, so they don't feel crunchy. There was no gel in the collection, so I was actually super surprised to see how defined my curls are, but the more they dried, I was kind of like, wow, they are popping. Um, I also have very minimal frizz, which I'm also super, super excited about. So I was even actually taken aback by the shampoo. I thought, you know, I'm using shampoo and I don't normally do it. And so I kind of was worried that, oh, my hair is going to look a little bit drier than usual or it might be a little bit frizzy. But I could say, okay, that would have been because of the shampoo. But honestly, I don't see a difference here. I feel like my curls look very like they feel soft they look very defined and fluffy they're not flaky or stiff or anything and i really don't think this time that i use the shampoo did i have any adverse effects absolutely not shampoo is still something that i'm not going to use regularly i feel like when shampoo gets you it's when you use it every single week and you're constantly constantly building up all those suds in your hair i would have also loved to see a conditioning cleanser come in this collection instead of a shampoo just personally that's what I prefer so yeah that would be my only thing otherwise the rest of this collection is absolutely amazing I love how it smells I love the packaging so bottom line I 100% I definitely would recommend this to you guys hey guys so I wanted to come on here and do a really quick update it has been about three to four days since I've used the collection still love it I mean honestly my curls are still pretty popping it's not I don't have it up because it's frizzy or anything I just have it up because I want it out my face um, but for the first time ever I forgot to check for silicones in these products and if y'all follow me, you guys know how I feel about silicones. It's just not good for hair. It's pretty much like plastic in your hair. And when you use silicones over and over and over again, it can coat your hair. Then moisture is like no longer able to get into your curls and it's just not a good situation. The shampoo, the conditioner, and the leave-in all unfortunately have silicones in them. Which I'm super, super sad about because I was genuinely so happy with how these products worked in my curls. It was beautiful. It was amazing. My curls were defined. Like, I loved it. But the silicones, like, that's not something you're going to want to use in your curls all the time. So it it's like a one-off kind of thing. And I just need my curls to act right and look good then maybe but definitely not something that I would use all the time and I'm so disappointed because my curls seem to love it so much I you guys saw the results I showed you everything and it's I don't know it makes me really sad as for the curl cream it doesn't have silicones in it which is really really good but I did a more like in-depth ingredients check on that one and there is isopropyl alcohol in there which is one of the more drying slash like more harsh alcohols there's some alcohols that are really good for curly hair they help to increase moisture and all that stuff but there are some that are a little more harsh and can tend to be drying once used continuously and it has isopropyl in there so honestly I'm so sad. I'm so sad. I'm really sad, but I didn't feel right like finding this out after the fact and not letting you guys know. So I came on here to do a little update and let you guys know. I'm really disappointed. I'm really sad, but I hope this is something that Repair Fair can take into consideration next time they're doing another curl collection. So yeah guys, that is my update. Thanks again for watching this video. I will catch you in the next one.